What should you wear for your next photo or video shoot? That's coming up next on JT and 3. Hi, I'm just outside my home here in northern Israel, and today I'm just a little bit fancier than usual, I guess, for this uh, video series, because today I'm going to talk about how to dress for a photo shoot or a video shoot, either for TV or maybe it's a, a video upload that will go online somewhere. So the main thing that you want to think about is what is the image that you want to project in the photo shoot or the video shoot? And I'm going to, for the sake of simplicity, talk about in terms of two categories. One is a little bit more formal or conservative, and the other is more casual. So I think that if you were to be doing something that is uh, a hard business story, something where you're discussing perhaps financial numbers or stock price or something like that, then a conservative look, a jacket and tie for gentlemen, uh, a more conservative sort of dress or uh, blouse for women would be the thing to wear because you want to project stability, no nonsense, you know what you're talking about, and the suit projects that kind of image. Now, on the other hand, if you were to be doing a piece where it is about yourself, who you are, where you come from, your background, it's a profile piece, then a casual wear, making the, the, the dress more casual would look uh, better, I think. Now, that could be as simple as just removing the tie, for example, for guys, or it could be just wearing uh, a very nice sweater or uh, a blouse or a dress that's less formal. But the thing is that you want to project a different image. You want to show that you're more personal, more vulnerable. And so the image that you want to project in that kind of a scenario is a little bit different. So keep in mind, what is the image that you want to project? Do you want to project something more conservative? Uh, featuring uh, a sense of more stability or more casual where you want to seem more vulnerable and more personal that would be better for more of a profile or, or biographical sort of piece. So that's all the time that I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always there is lots more at jtpublicrelations.com where you can get the essential toolkit for public relations and content marketing. You can learn how to put together public relations and content marketing seamlessly so that they work together. So that's all at jtpublicrelations.com. And until the next time, I'm Josh Turner. Thanks for watching.